the original SD model, it is just a great little pistol. And if you're considering getting the XL model, or maybe you're on eBay uh, looking at them, this might be the video that's going to help you consider which one to purchase. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the Burna Boost to see if it is worth it, or even the XL model. And so let's get the chronograph out. Let's take some numbers between the 8 gram and the 12 gram CO2s, and then we'll talk about that for a second afterwards. Okay, in this video, we are going to try the pierce and shoot mechanism to see what the feet per seconds are. And then we're going to try several more shots and get a good baseline. Then we're going to switch over and put uh, my adapter on to shoot 12 gram. We're going to compare those also. Uh, so you know there's no movie magic. And uh, that actually comes from John over to Complete Technology Solutions. He's over, whoops, going to load that backwards. I've been playing with the Umarex too many times. Uh, yeah, so John over there at uh, Com Complete Technology Solutions. That's one of his sayings, movie magic. Uh, gotta love the guy. You know, he went to the SHOT Show, and uh, he can be so popular. Now he wears his Berna sunglasses all the time. Just, you know, so he doesn't have to give out those uh, signatures and uh, autographs and all that good stuff. Nice guy. Anyhow, let's see. Loaded up, piercing and shooting at the same time. Let's see what we get. Where the crowning's on zero. I think you can see that. Let's see what happens. One fifty-nine. Yeah, that's pretty low. One fifty-nine. All right. Let's see what shot two brings us. Much better. Two eighty-nine. Shot three. 288. Shot four. 285. Giving us a little time to heat up between recharge. 283. All right. New clip. Here we go. Clip number two, loaded, 281, 266 Shot 10 260 let's keep going 6 1 261 257. Sorry guys, I'm writing them down as I'm shooting them, so it's taking me a little longer. 254. 14, 249. Last shot. Shot 15, 245. So in this test, we had the Burna Boost and a 12 gram CO2. And we are going to be testing the Pierce and Shoot, where it pierces and fires all at the same time. And to see if there's any benefit to the 12 gram versus the 8 gram. And then we're going to contest and continue contesting it through 15 shots and then we will compare the 8 gram to the 12 gram so we are loaded as you see we have it in um, 
and we are ready to see what the first shot pierce and shoot looks like for feet per second. Now, give you an idea, it was 159 feet per second with the 8 gram. Let's see what the 12 gram does. One hundred and sixty one. So that is only two feet per second. Next shot. Much harder. Two eighty six. That is actually three feet per second lower than the eight gram. Shot number three, duplicate. That is also two feet per second less than the eight gram. 287. Two feet per second higher than the eight gram. 284. One foot per second faster than the eight gram. Oh, and I'm out, duh. Okay, sorry about that. Wasn't paying attention. 277. So unfortunately, since I missed that shot, I have to compare it to the next shot up and it is one foot per second less. 272. That is one foot per second faster than the eight gram. 270. That is actually 10 feet per second faster. Now you can probably see where the eight gram is slowing, is slowed down. 268. That is 8 feet per second faster than the 8 gram. 267. 2 that is 6 feet per second faster. And I think that was it. I don't want to do that again. Yes, that was it. Let's go on to our next one. Here we go. Two sixty four. That is seven feet per second faster. Two sixty three. Nine feet faster than the 8 gram. Chapter 258. 9 feet per second faster than the 8 gram. 256. Eleven feet per second faster, and I believe that should be it. Oh, one more. And two fifty-five. 
10 feet per second faster. All right, so look, let's look at the numbers here. When you pierce in shoot on the eight gram, it was 159. And for the same type of method, piercing in shooting, you got 161 with the 12 gram. But look at these numbers. Uh, shot number two, 289, eight gram, 286. 288, eight gram, 286 for the 12 gram. 285 to 287, 283, 284. This one, I forgot to reload, so I don't know what it was, but it's 281 on the eight gram. Then you get in here 278, 277, 271, 272. Very consistent up to eight. Now this is where the eight gram fell off. Shot number nine, down to 260 to 270, 260 to 268, 261 to 267, 257 to 264, 254 to 263, 249 to 258, and finally 245 to 256. So the point here is, all 15 for training purposes if you were to fill three of these guys up for training on the eight gram you're going to get pretty consistent shots there's only 11 feet per second difference between those now if you want to extend past that maybe that's where the 12 gram is going to um go a little bit more of the distance but how much lower do you want to go from there but here's the other interesting thing. If you're using a Mr. Fizz, which I don't recommend, and I've done three tests on Mr. Fizz. So let's compare the Mr. Fizz really quick. Now, this air, the 8 gram CO2s. Okay, after shot number eight, you have a 247. Shot eight here is 271. Then it did go up a little bit higher on, on this. Now, this is three separate times I shot for Mr. Fizz with the Mr. Fizz. That's 263 and then 253. So those aren't great numbers. And if you're using the seven round magazine, especially for self-defense, look at Mr. Fizz here. You've got a 253, 267, and 256 versus the 278 on the eight gram um, CO2 cartridge. So if you're using, if you want it to be a little cheaper, this is not gonna do you very good. Now this is very consistent with a test I did back in July of last year. And if you look at all the numbers, the numbers are very comparable to what I just did. So it is apples to apples using the Berna eight gram. Anyhow, that kind of wraps up that whole whole thing. Okay, so if you like this type of content, if you don't mind hitting the like button and, and subscribing, this is going to keep that the uh, content out there up and up front and current so other people who are purchasing a burner could look at it.